Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML can ship hundreds of lithography machines every year, occupying more than 80% of the global market share, and the number of competitors is scarce, making it a giant in the lithography machine industry. However, ASML also has a lot of troubles. The market rules formulated by the United States have caused ASML to lose many sales opportunities for lithography machines. Not only that, ASML's lithography machines have been shut down on a large scale in Europe and the United States. Due to the decline in chip demand and customers cutting orders, major chip manufacturing giants are reducing capacity utilization. Biden is numb, and American chips will not be sold. American media, China is all to blame. The chips of American companies such as NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and Intel are very popular in the Chinese market, and more than 30% or even 60% of their revenue comes from the Chinese market. It can be said that the Chinese market cannot be replaced by American companies. Only by grasping this part of the sales opportunities can we make a lot of money. However, under the US chip rules, whether these US companies can ship chips is not up to them, and they need to obtain a license. Not only American companies, but other foreign suppliers who use American technology will also be restricted. Just as ASML is restricted to freely ship EUV lithography machines, after September 1, the Netherlands will also implement export control rules for DUV lithography machines. Relying on its technological advantages, the United States is unscrupulous and disrupts the globalization of chips at will. Of course, the United States does not want to completely lose the Chinese market. In addition to restricting high-end technology, low-end technology will not interfere too much. After all, the United States also relies on China for its economic development. How can the United States refuse to make money in the Chinese market? But this time, Biden is paralyzed, and American chips will not be able to be sold. Even the mid to low end chips that are allowed to be shipped have been cut by China in large numbers. In the first seven months of this year, China reduced the import of 54.6 billion chips, and the import of integrated circuits decreased by 255 billion yuan year on year. In 2022, China's integrated circuits cut off 97 billion chip orders, and this year's trend is still declining. China no longer buys chips, and American chips will naturally not be sold. Qualcomm also wants to reduce the price of mid to low end 5G chips, which depends on whether the Chinese market wants it or not. American companies cannot obtain chip orders from China, so TSMC and Samsung chip foundries will also be cut orders. TSMC's capacity utilization rate continues to decline, and several EUV lithography machines have been shut down. Chip manufacturers in European and American countries are also shutting down lithography machines on a large scale. The decline in chip demand cannot be determined by chip manufacturers, but depends on the attitude of the consumer market. Demand determines the market. If China drastically cuts orders for foreign chips and sells the needed chips domestically, can American chip companies still make a lot of money in China? In the past, China needed to spend more than 300 billion US dollars to import chips every year. Looking at it now, China's chip imports continue to decline, which has caused the revenue and profits of American companies to plummet, and companies have fallen into a storm of large-scale layoffs. 
The American media blamed China. In the eyes of the American media, it is China that has given up on American chips and turned all chips to local production. In fact, the inability to sell American chips is the reason of the United States itself. The United States restricts NVIDIA from shipping high-end GPUs to China and does not allow Qualcomm to provide 5G chips to Huawei. The United States does not sell the chips China needs, and then focuses on the chip field where China can be self-sufficient. It does not want China to make its own chips, but to buy American chips to give them a chance to make money. How can there be such a good thing? The United States has monopolized the chip market for a long time, so it wants to make its own rules, and the United States has the final say on buying and selling. Not only that, the United States also interferes in other people's business. As a Dutch company, ASML itself has nothing to do with the United States. It should be up to ASML to decide who to sell the lithography machine to. However, because of the use of American technology, the United States is forced to win over the restricted camp, otherwise it may also attack ASML. Due to pressure from the United States, ASML can only cut off the supply of EUV lithography machines to mainland China. Now ASML is still facing the dilemma of restricted shipments of DUV lithography machines, and the equipment that can be shipped to the mainland will be products 10 years ago. One side is the strict restrictive rules of the United States, and the other side is the huge Chinese market. No matter which side it is, it is not easy to choose. ASML can only try its best to win orders from Chinese customers within the scope permitted by the rules. As for the large-scale shutdown of European and American lithography machines, it has little impact on ASML. After all, the lithography machines have been sold, but American chip manufacturers are more anxious. U.S. chip rules prohibit the sale of chips and other key technologies to some Chinese companies such as Huawei, which will affect the supply chains of U.S. companies because these Chinese companies are important customers of U.S. companies. U.S. chip rules could also cause U.S. companies to lose market share. Because of the importance of the Chinese market, Many U.S. companies are selling chips and other technology to Chinese companies. These companies can no longer sell chips and other technologies to Chinese companies, and they will lose one of their main markets. NVIDIA CEO Huang Renxuan said that once the Chinese market is deprived, there is no alternative. The impact on the supply chain and sales is only the tip of the iceberg. The R&D and innovation capabilities of the United States are affected. Many American companies have set up chip R&D centers in China, and they have to invest a lot of R&D expenses every year. Where does the money come from? Naturally, it is earned from China, but the Chinese market can no longer make money, and most R&D centers will have to lay off staff which will damage the technological innovation strength of American chip companies over time. The chip market affects the whole body. China's reduction of chip imports will bring a series of impacts. The United States wants to rely on its technological advantages to be unscrupulous. In the end, it will find that the right to speak in chip sales is already in the hands of buyers. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.